Welcome to the Holistic Health Bites podcast. I'm your host, Andrea Nicholson, crime scene investigator turned metabolic health investigator. This podcast provides bite-sized episodes to help you have a pristine health scene so you can live a vibrant, adventure-filled life. Let's dive in. Welcome back to the Holistic Health Bites podcast. Today, we are discussing a recent study on different dietary strategies. This particular study was published in the Journal of the Annals of Family Medicine in May of 2023, and it is titled Comparing Very Low Carbohydrate Versus DASH Diets for Overweight or Obese Adults with Hypertension and Prediabetes or Type 2 Diabetes, a Randomized Trial. Now, for many years, the DASH diet has been revered for its ability to help lower blood pressure naturally. DASH actually stands for the Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. Pretty compelling, right? It's been shown to work in many studies. However, that doesn't necessarily make it the best or only nutritional strategy. So this particular study, they looked at 94 adults that had what they call triple morbidity, meaning they had hypertension and pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes, and they were either obese or overweight. They monitored all participants for four months, and they were randomized into different groups. The two different dietary strategies, very low carbohydrate ketogenic diet or the DASH diet, and then they further subdivided those two groups into either a group with standard education that everybody got, or some of the participants also got some additional support. And so there were four total groups, one very low carbohydrate ketogenic diet with added support, one very low carbohydrate ketogenic diet without the added support, the DASH diet with support, and the DASH diet without the added support. Now, everyone got access to an online program, text messages, cookbooks, email-based coaching, and recommendations to monitor their nutrition intake, their weight, their blood pressure, and their blood sugar. Exercise and sleep routines were also encouraged for all participants. Now, those that were in the extra support groups also received additional information on mindful eating, emotional eating, food-related urges mindful responses to stress, positive emotion regulation, and gratitude. As far as the dietary parameters, those in the very low carbohydrate diet groups were asked to limit their net carbohydrate intake to 20 to 35 grams per day, and they were given the goal of achieving nutritional ketosis as measured using urine ketone test strips. The DASH diet groups were asked to limit their sodium intake to less than 2,300 milligrams per day and less than 20 to 30% of their overall intake in calories of fat. So this was a low-fat, low-sodium diet. All participants underwent assessments at baseline and at the end to include blood pressure, hemoglobin A1c, body weight, and which medications they had been prescribed and what dosages they were taking. So here are the results after 16 weeks for each group. The very low carbohydrate diet showed greater improvement in systolic blood pressure, hemoglobin A1C, and had greater weight loss. But not just better blood pressure. The very low carbohydrate diet decreased twice as much by nearly 10 points, where the DASH diet groups only reduced by five points. And not just better hemoglobin A1c, but the very low carbohydrate diet groups decreased by 0.35%, whereas the DASH groups only decreased by 0.14%. And not just better weight loss, but the very low carbohydrate diet lost nearly twice as much weight, 19.14 pounds in 16 weeks versus 10.34 pounds in the DASH diet groups in 16 weeks. And to top it all off, 12 out of 32 people on the very low carbohydrate diet stopped or decreased their blood pressure medications during the study. And only four of 42 people on the DASH diet stopped or decreased their blood pressure medications. 
And five out of nine people taking blood sugar medications in the very low carbohydrate group stopped or decreased their blood sugar medications versus zero change in blood sugar medications on the DASH diet. Two people in the DASH group actually had to increase their blood sugar medications. Interestingly, when they looked at both diets with and without the added support on mindfulness and emotional eating, the added support did not make any statistically significant difference for either diet group. So it seems like the standard support that everybody was given was adequate. And the added mindfulness and emotional eating side of things didn't really make that big of a difference. Now, I know I just threw a whole lot of data at you. And if you want to review this again, please see the show notes. I'll leave a link in the description of the show so that you can link to all of these statistics in writing, where sometimes it's a little bit easier to absorb them. Thank you so much for listening today. If you found this information valuable, I would love it if you left a five-star review so more people can easily find this podcast. Reviews are what boosts the show in the search algorithm. And if you know anyone who could benefit from this information, please feel free to share this episode with them. And lastly, if you are looking for one-on-one -on -one support with your health challenges, schedule a free holistic health strategy session with me. Until the next episode, be well and vibrant. Thanks for being a faithful listener to the podcast. I'd love it if you left me a five-star review on this podcast so that others can more easily find this valuable information. Did you know I also work one-on-one -on -one with clients? I approach solving health challenges like I approached solving crimes by conducting a thorough investigation into your case. Sadly, hundreds of millions of people in the U.S. have insulin resistance, pre-diabetes, and diabetes, and the vast majority have no idea. I'm here to fix that. If you struggle with low energy, stubborn weight, hypertension, sleep disturbances, or any other undesired symptoms, let's talk. All you have to do is schedule a free call. The link will be in the show notes. And no, you do not need to live near me.